So former President Donald Trump is now President-elect Donald Trump. He will be the 47th President of the United States. Now, there was a very important election that happened just yesterday. And early this morning, we found out that Donald Trump will be the next president, winning against Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, what does this mean? What does this mean for the American people? What does this mean for other countries? Well, we're going to find that out soon enough as Inauguration Day is on January 20th, 2025. But today, I want to talk about what could be coming. And again, we're going to break all this down in just a moment. But all I ask is one thing takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoyed these daily updates. And now let's begin. So what is next for the American people? Well, here's what you need to know. First off, Donald Trump defeated Kamala Harris to return to the White House as the nation's 47th president. He will be the second president that has done two different stints in the White House. Okay, Not consecutive. But there's some other big news that we need to be well aware of. Look at this right here. So this is the race to 270 electoral votes. You can see right now, Donald Trump has already won. He already has the majority. They're already calling that he has uh, 277 votes. Now, you only need 270. Here's the next one. Democrats currently hold the majority in the Senate. Okay, this is with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Now, this flipped. As of right now, Republicans have 52 seats that have been called, okay? Before, it was very tight. It was 51 to 49. Before that, it was 50 to 50, and Kamala Harris was the tie-breaking vote. So, this is big. That means that Republicans have the presidency. They also have the Senate. Here's the next one, right here. Currently, Republicans have 197 um, uh, House Republic or House uh, representatives. Here's the issue, though. Okay, the majority is 218. Now, once they get to 218, that's going to create an issue for Democrats because now Republicans will have full control over the House, the Senate, and the presidency. They will have again. They will sweep. Here's the reason why Democrats will be furious if this happens. And again, this will go on for two years until the midterm elections where we could see the the seats in the Senate and the House somewhat flip. But here's what we know. Keep this in mind. The Senate, again, and the the House, they're the ones that are going to uh, be voting and bringing in new bills. And some of these could be things that that our president-elect uh, Donald Trump wants. Others, maybe just a new bill that they're deciding on. Remember, this could change Social Security. We could see, and the last time Republicans had the, the full control over the House, the Senate, and the presidency, they passed the, the Tax Cut and Jobs Act. Okay, Democrats also had full control. We saw this where Democrats had full control, but they didn't do anything. And this was, what was it, the first two years of of, uh, Biden's uh, presidency? They had full control, but they didn't do anything. That was the issue that many, uh, many lawmakers had, many Democratic lawmakers had, that they had the ability to do something. They could have changed the course of, uh, really, America, but they didn't do it. Now, some of the things that have already been discussed, and again, I'm bringing these up because these are things that we have been impacted by over the past four years, or however many years they've been in law, been a law. But one is the Inflation Reduction Act. Okay, this was supposed to reduce inflation, and in some ways it has, in other ways it's actually made things more expensive, right? Now, here's one of the things that we are likely going to see. 
we are likely going to see uh, Trump is going to pull more oil out of the ground. We are going to be more reliant here in the United States. We are going to see businesses really take off. Businesses have been hurting. Okay, if you look around and you see the businesses boarded up, you know, the, the Wendy's closed. You see the 7-Elevens closed. Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS closed. You see all these different businesses are closing down. Certain warehouses, distribution centers shutting down. Okay? And we're seeing this because wages continue to go up. The cost of goods continues to go up. But the cost or the the sale price of some of the items and services that these businesses are selling, we can't continue to push those higher and higher because the American people don't have money. So right now there's a lot of speculation that, yeah, there's going to be some big changes, but it's going to come down to who wins the house. Look at this. It says the GOP trifecta is on the line with house control in limbo. It says while Donald Trump has won the presidency, it may be days or weeks until he knows if he'll have powerful allies atop the house, due in part uh, to close races in states that take longer to count ballots like California and Arizona. For months, neither party has held a significant edge and both sides predicted modest gains if they get control of the house. It says results, results were still too close to call in a slew of battleground house races early Wednesday morning. The Associated Press projected that two Republican incumbents in New York would lose re-election. Reps Mark Molinero and Brandon Williams. Okay, so this is going to be big. Yes, we have you know who the next president is going to be. We know who's going to control the, the Senate. But what we don't know is which party is going to control the House. We do know that there are other things that they're discussing. Potentially, uh, if the Republican Party does get control of the House, they will likely reduce the CHIPS Act. Um, we will likely see more money pulled from the IRS. We're going to see uh, less money going to other countries for the, the near future. You know, later on, yes, we may send more money to other countries. Uh, and this is probably why many world leaders reached out to Donald Trump and congratulated him on winning the presidential election. But as of right now, we do not have any word, according to the Biden campaign or the, the Trump campaign, that President Biden nor Kamala Harris has even reached out to congratulate him. Okay. Now, there could be multiple reasons behind that. Now, Trump also said for months, the first thing he would do if he is elected as the president and when he is sworn in is he is going to enact a tariff on all imports. That is still one of the first things that he's planning to do. And this is one of the reasons why Europe and even China are deeply, deeply concerned. Because as of right now, we do not know what exactly is going to happen. But what we do know is it's going to happen likely on January 20th or January 21st, 2025. So as we get more information as to what the next steps will be, who potentially is going to be the uh, in control of the house and how all this is going to impact the American people, I promise I will bring you all those news and updates as soon as we get it. But that is what we know as of this morning. So again, Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.